Hi everyone, I'm Cullen Haynes and I love lawyers and welcome to the LHL Story Series. Hey guys, I'm sitting here with one of the coolest lawyers I've ever met and I'm a barrister too in his previous life, Mark Lazarus from Lazarus Legal. How are you, Mark? Hi, Cullen. How are you, buddy? Very thanks, well. uh, thanks for having me on the show. No, it's an honour and a privilege to have you on the show. And I hear the plant is becoming a, uh, a bit of an icon. Please, we haven't got a name for it yet, so put it in the show notes, but we want to make this guy famous. That's our goal here. Awesome. As well as um, getting your story too. Now, we start off, as always, question one. If you were to describe your um, life so far using film titles, Mark, what would it be or what would they be? That one is a difficult one, but I'm going to say I would be a law-abiding citizen <laughs> living on the edge of tomorrow in search of the pursuit of happiness. <laughs> <laughs> I like the first and the third one. I think that's really good. So, you know, I'm a lawyer, so I'm a law-abiding citizen. Absolutely, and trying to get everyone else to be as well. No um, doubt. I'm hustling 24-7. Yes. So I'm always living on the edge of tomorrow. Flexing that hustle muscle. And I'm searching for the pursuit of happiness. Aren't we all? Absolutely. Fantastic. I like that. I like that. And obviously, what I love about your um, company is that the title, like, Rise Above. Yeah. And, you know, Lazarus rising. Where did you get that inspiration from and what does that mean to you, rising above? Well, when I came back uh, to Australia from the UK yep. um, and I rebranded Lazarus Legal and uh, looked to change the whole image. You know, we don't do the suit and tie uh, look anymore. Apologies, we're, everyone. <laughs> we're, 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 uh, we're, uh, we're, we work with startups, with fast-moving consumer good That's brands, it. with creatives. Um, I wanted to find something that was inspirational for Lazarus Legal um, and I was trying to find a, a cool slogan and catchphrase. And my surname is Lazarus. Yes. And course. Lazarus, uh, I don't know if you know biblical, biblical stories. Lazarus Rising. Uh, right? Lazarus Rising. Um, and so I just thought it was fitting, rise above Lazarus. And then also it's all about the hustle. It's all about the grit, the determination, the grind. Uh, when you're a startup, you're always having to push through the adversity yes. uh, and rise above. So rise above. Well, no, I love that. And I think um, what I really, what endeared me to, towards you as a, as a lawyer and a professional is that you're not your typical kind of lawyer. You've got that um, also that sales mentality about the hustle, right? Like you're, you're not just about the technical ability. It's all about trying to help as many people as you can. Is that right? Absolutely. My, my business is based on a, on a model, um, a little acronym I called CEFO, which stands for Simplicity, Efficiency, Flexible Fees and Outcomes. Um, and I'm all about uh, honesty and transparency when it comes to my clients. Um, that's what's most important. Um, and I'm on their level, which is, I guess, why I don't wear suits and ties. When I'm working with You're startups, um, and when I was working with Monster, I was working with the marketing departments, the, the, the operations, you know, people from, you know, brands, athletes, uh, ambassadors, influencers, covered to head to toe with, uh, with tattoos. Um, I want to be on their level. I like to immerse myself in the culture, lifestyle, and ethos of my client and the brand. Um, and that's the way I am. I'm, I'm your no bullshit kind of lawyer. Fantastic. You know? And very immersive as well. And you match to the needs of the person you're with. Absolutely. Excellent. No, and, and on that note with um, Monster, uh, you obviously had, had a great gig there. And is it, it was a high energy company, lots of things going on. Is there something you've taken from there, lessons that you've learned that you've brought into your business now, you've distilled? Um, Monster was a fantastic, is a fantastic brand. Yes. And absolutely loved it. Left uh, on very good terms. Okay, good. Uh, yep. To come back to Australia, um, and basically, um, I tried to bring that energy back into Lazarus Legal. So, Monster is very, very action-packed, intense. Um, lots of things going on all the time, um, and I decided to bring that energy back into my practice with my clients, and, and that's the way I roll. Wonderful. Is it on tap there at Monster? Like, does uh, everyone... uh, it's, it's completely on tap. <laughs> I had a, a, a fridge uh, under my desk, I had a, an espresso machine on top, um, and I had access to Monster whenever I wanted. Wonderful. Clarence, please uh, bring some Monster into the office, please. Um, now, not many people know this, or maybe they do if they read your bio, you were actually a barrister as well. That's right. Now, do you have any advice for those wanting Don't to... Don't do it. Okay, no, just, just take that. Just Don't do it. <laughs> well, uh, for what, any lawyers that are wanting to go yeah, to Yeah, to make that step. Like, obviously, um, you, you made that step, right? I, I did. Um, it's, it's, a, it's not for everybody. I, um, I didn't love the bar. Okay. Um, I found it very 
um, intense. I found it was very, um, uh, what's the word? It's, it's uh, very academic. Uh, I'm the kind of lawyer that really loves to be out there meeting with clients, doing various different things, uh, getting to know the business, the, the, the nature of the business, um, whereas um, a barrister is very much about case law, authority, uh, you're the last port of call before a matter goes to court, um, and you either love it or you hate it. Um, yeah. I just like to be more on the, the front and centre with the client rather than being in court or locked in chambers all day drafting advices. Fantastic. Well, at least obviously you tried it and you gave it a go and then you're much happier now in your business. Fantastic. Absolutely. Now, um, this one always um, is a little bit tricky to answer. If you were to describe your role in law to a six-year-old, how would you do that? Ah, oh, that's a difficult question. Uh, um, I've got two boys. I've got a, uh, an eight-year-old and a five-year-old. What I'd say to them is, and they, their names are Jaden and Josh. All right, Jaden um, and Josh, just one so, for you. So basically, they, they're playing on the, on the Nintendo Switch. One's got one game, the other's got the other another game, and they're both deciding which game they're going to use um, or who's going to get to play which game. I would say I'm the kind of guy that will help them make a decision as to which game they're going to play without them getting into a big argument or fight about it. A big so, fuss, basically. A big fuss. So I try to help them rationalise or make a decision um, and, and work out a compromise um, that will allow them to choose a game that's fair for both of them without them getting into a big fight that causes fighting, anger, stress, and a lot of tears in the end. Of course, and a lot of headaches for mum and dad, so we're going to avoid that. Yeah. That's also good too. Exactly. All right, Jaden and Josh, there's some wise words there. Now, um, this one's a bit of a new one. So if you were shipwrecked on an island, some island, all your food and water was taken care of, what two items would you have to have with you? Okay, so colour. <laughs> that's, a, that's a question you're asking a lawyer. Yes. Okay, so... Where is this island? <laughs> How far is it to land? Okay. What is your definition of item? Does an item mean a, a physical product or does it mean I could bring my wife or my kids with me? Um, or is it just, you know, so that I can't, I, food and water is ruled out, right? Yep, food, okay. food and water is ruled out. Say it's the Bermuda Triangle. It's items only, no people. No people, okay. Um, Love having lawyers on I, the show. <laughs> I would have to go with... The obvious, I'd have to have something that's going to help me survive. So, probably a nice big crocodile dundee hunting knife. <laughs> that's not a knife. So, that's not a knife. This it's is. A knife. This is. Not a pocket knife like MacGyver back in the day. Do you remember MacGyver? MacGyver, you, you need a paper clip, yeah. a wristband, and I don't know, a lighter, and you could make exactly. I don't know, rocket fuel out of that. Exactly. Whatever. So, take a big knife because, you know, that could. Add as protection. It could add as you know, as a as a hunting knife. Yes. Use that. If they're coconuts, it can help me crack them open. Um, so definitely a knife. Okay, knife's good. And then probably a big giant box of matches. <laughs> so not a lot because, of giant because box of matches. Well, it, well, it's gonna you know, a lot of fluid's gonna go right. Exactly. So if I have a big giant box of matches, I can kind of dig a hole and keep it safe or whatever. And you know, I mean, I'm not. I'm a lawyer. I'm not exactly the most. I'm not a handyman, so I'm not going to take two rocks and crack them together and rub them really hard and hope that it's going to cause a fire. So I think, yeah, if I've got a knife, I can fish. Uh, I can hunt. I can. It's a versatile. You know, right? it's very versatile. And if I've got some matches, I can then cook my food. All right, bear grills. Eat your heart out, Mark Lazarus. There you is go. Coming for you, sir. There you go. <laughs> now, is there a mentor or a piece of advice that you've gotten in your career that's sort of been your guiding star of sorts that's got Mark Lazarus to where he is right I, I don't have a, a specific mentor. I mean, I follow many um, many people, Gary V's of this world. Love the vein chat. Jab, 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 right hook, right? Done, yeah, exactly. I've done, the, I've done the, the Tony Robbins, Unleash the Power, Walking on Hot Coals Luke in Dash. my day. And oh, I love that. So I, I've, I've been there, done that with all of it. But, you know, for me, um, I like to, to, I mean, I, I like to follow inspirational people um, uh, you know I, I, I wrote a, an, an article recently on on Schwarzenegger I think he's very inspirational I know he's had some issues in his personal life but but Total Recall is a great book biography I've read that biography it's fantastic it's I, I, I haven't but I mean I have read many other um, uh, articles and information on Schwarzenegger and as we know he's dominated in movies and film 
he's dominated in in, uh, in bodybuilding. Uh, he's been the governor of California. So, I mean, how many people do you know uh, that dominate in so many different professions? And he's done that. And so that's an inspiration. But for me, it's all about the hustle, the grind, the determination. Um, and there's a there's a saying called fail forward. Fail forward. I'm sure you've heard of yes, it indeed. before. Um, you know, I, I work with a lot of startups um, and... It, it just takes a lot of failing um, and realizing that, you know, it's okay to fail uh, as long as you keep pushing forward. Um, every one of us is going to get knocked down. You're going to have, think you're doing the best job you can for a client um, and they're going to turn around and, and tell you you've done a shit job or they're going to be upset because you didn't get the result they wanted. Yeah, of course. So um, it, it's it's the ability to have a thick skin. Yes. Uh, to, to learn. Uh, to learn from your mistakes, to learn from your failures, to keep pushing, um, and uh, just to, to surround yourself with inspirational people, people that are going to lift you up, not push you down. I think that's um, good. And that's, that's, for me, is, is, is what's carrying me through um, with, my, with my business and my personal life, um, and that's how I like to project myself with my clients. Excellent. Excellent. That's a nice sentiment. So uh, surround yourself with uh, people that are going to lift you up, reach up, rather than you know, staying with people that are going to... You know, not help you grow. Exactly. Not. Exactly. Um, is there a favorite drink that you like, Mark? Other than Monster and obviously Mother, of course, which is a subset there. I love Monster, um, <laughs> and uh, you know, I, I, I would drink it when I uh, had it on tap in my office in the UK when I was working with Monster. Um, favorite alcoholic drink these days, I've got to say, um, is would be gin and tonic. Okay, I'm GNT. A big fan of a GNT. Um, but other than that. Uh, I'm a big no, Coke, no sugar fan. Uh, okay. I shouldn't. Uh, I mean, Coke. Coke's now a uh, got a 17% stake in Monster. Oh, um, I didn't know so that. Coke Cola Amateur uh, or the Coke Cola Coke Cola proper. Pro- proper. Uh, okay. Atlanta Coca Cola no, Coca-Cola Company. Wonderful. Shout out to um, them. But um, I, I'm also quite liking uh, sparkling mineral water these days. Oh, I'm and a big just, fan of the sparkling. Just, and Love if, that. You, if you add a little bit of this, uh, it's called the Green Bottle Elderflower Cordial. It's it's pretty good. Oh, um, wow. So, yeah. It's, okay. It's you find awesome. that at most retailers. Uh, you, you'll find that at Woolworths and Coles. It's actually a UK product. Okay. Um, but it just adds a bit of sweetness without being too sweet. But I, I just love fizzy water. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. And you can't go wrong with the lemon, lime, and bitters as well. Absolutely. 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 Now, um, on that note, obviously, favorite drink. What does Mark Lazarus do for fun? Oh, I don't have fun. <laughs> just always working. I'm just working and hustling 24-7. Ask, ask my wife. Uh, I never have any fun. No, um, I, uh, I go to the gym. Uh, it, it, it clears my mind. Um, unfortunately, and don't take this advice, I, I go to sleep way too late at night and I get up way too early in the mornings. Um, but I try to get to gym. Uh, you know, I'm up at about 20 past 5 uh, into the gym by 6 o'clock pretty much most mornings. Uh, I find that that clears the head, uh, helps you know regulate the body, uh, and and gives you that that push that you need for the day. Um, and then the other things that I do for fun is is, is spending time with my family um, and my cool. kids, um, run, running them around to soccer lessons and jujitsu and everything else. So, um, and then occasionally we'll try to go away. We we, we country hop a bit between Australia and the UK. So. Um, we always have fun and stop in nice places on the way when, we, when we're going back and forth. Beautiful. A nice way to spend your free time with the family. Absolutely. That's what you're working towards. Absolutely. Now, a uh, last question as always. It's always uh, one that causes pause a little bit, but when all is said and done, Mark, how would you like to be remembered? I work, as I said, with a lot of startups. Yep. And so I like to get involved with a startup business. And for me, it's it's really being a part of what they're building and growing. And I I add my legal touch to it, okay. know, helping them with their with their shareholders agreements, with their business structures, with their T's and C's, with their sponsorship or ambassador agreements or whatever it may be. Um, and I've kind of got a bit of that startup bug. Um, so I would like to be remembered, and, and that's what I'm trying to, to, to emulate in, in my practice. So I'd like to be remembered um, for helping to build and grow something that becomes really successful um, and to have a, a legacy that um, I can leave and that my, my children will be proud of. Um, I often 
write in, on LinkedIn a, a lot of content uh, specifically uh, targeted towards startups or FMCG brands about success. And one thing that really stuck with me um, in an article I wrote last week is what what is success? And most people um, will will think of the word success as being associated with money. Yes. Um, and everybody wants money. We're all striving to, to build better practices, bigger businesses, get in more clients because ultimately we want to be successful and that successful is a bigger house and a bigger car. And then when you get that bigger house and that better car, you want a bigger house. You want to go to the next better level. car. Um, but what really hit home for me was it's, it's, it's not, yes, I would like all of that, but that's not what success is for me. What, what success is for me is the ability for people to remember you for something that you've done or achieved. And, um, and what you've built and what you've grown and for people to be proud. No one's going to, you know... Go and mark a nice your, car. Yeah, and... when, you know, when you're on your deathbed and, you know, and uh, on your gravestone, if you can kind of look back and see, it's like, you know, Mark Lazarus remembered for having the biggest house on the street <laughs> and the nicest car. You know, they remember you for the kind of person that you are. So I want to be... I, I'm still striving to be a better husband, a better father, um, and a better businessman and you know looking after my staff as well um that's very important you know I, I want people to like me and i don't want to be this bullshitter that so many people out there are trying to do I'm, I'm, I'm genuine i'm transparent i'm honest and i'm real and that's why i have the lazarus real vlog that you can check into and my motto is uh lazarus real keeping it raw real and personal and that's we'll put, what i'm about we'll put the link in the show notes as well and that's a touching legacy to leave and it reminds me of what jim Rohn said you know success is something you attract by the person you become and that's what people are going to remember you for um, i really appreciate you coming on the show mark thanks it's an absolute mate. pleasure sir yeah, thank you very much thank you it's uh, it's awesome to be here and uh you're doing some amazing stuff uh, in the legal home loan space. Oh, so, I appreciate um, your feedback. So anybody that needs a home loan, <laughs> check out Cullen Hayes and uh, he can sort you out. Oh, good man. I'll give you the 50 later. That's all right. But Thanks, nonetheless, um, if anyone wants to be in the show, as always, we've got some fantastic lawyers and barristers lined up. But by all means, as we always say, we don't have thousands. If you want to throw someone under the bus, put them in the comments or DM me or you would like to be on the show. We'd love to have you on and know your story. Thanks for joining us for another episode of the LHL Story Series. Real lawyers, real stories. Thank you. Well done. How'd you Sorry think it went? It. I, was, I think it was all right. Yeah, yeah, fantastic. Like I like that okay. last one. That was nice. Okay. Yeah. Okay. How did you feel? Yeah? Yeah. Good man. Yeah, I'll, I'll play around the editing. You, what we usually do is um, on the Monday, we'll come out with that. I've got to get a little snippet of you saying, I'm Mark Lazarus. This is my story. And then um, we'll come out with some like teasers. Isn't that from Law and Order? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to find that sound. I just oh, really? put that in there. I can't find it because no one knows. You ask people, what's that sound in Law and Order? No one can tell you. But you just type in Law and Order theme. I should actually near, but what? No, what is the sound though? What do you think it is? I've always asked people, and they're like, "Oh, it's okay. the the sound of a bar going on um, prison bars, or it's the sound of the the gavel going down." I don't. Th I think you're looking into it too much. <laughs> I think so too. I'll have to download this. I'll